Good morning. Welcome back to Fishing with First Sergeant. It is a, a chilly 64 degrees here. It's Sunday morning. Um, should be a good day though. It's supposed to burn off and be cool. A little bit overcast. Um, this is a pretty good lake though. I went fishing here yesterday in the kayak. Um, caught a few decent fish. So it's fun though. I'm just glad to be back on the water. Glad to be fishing and hopefully I can catch another big one today. I'm going to be using uh, the hat cam. We'll see how that turns out. Different angle. Stick around. So I'm going to start the morning by throwing the, the famed whopper plopper. See how this turns out. I've only caught one fish on this thing so far. So I know a lot of people fish this different ways. Um, and before, I would just reel it in slow just like that. That's all I would do. You know, pretty much like a buzz bait. And uh, when Tyler from Tyler's Real Fishing came in and uh, fished a couple spots with me, I started throwing this and he asked me if I had success. I told him not yet. Um, he started throwing one. And in the pond that I've thrown it in for, you know, a month, in like 10 minutes he catches three fish on it. You know, so basically I started really asking him, what the heck are you doing? Why, what am I doing wrong? And what he said is a lot of people, and it might be different for everybody, but he said a lot of people just drag it in just like that. He said if you kind of work it a little bit though, you know, pause, if you kind of jerk it almost like a, uh, a walking bait, you're going to create more action on the surface and attract more fish hopefully and catch more fish. And he, and he basically proved it to me just by catching those three when I fished it. You know, hundreds of casts and not caught anything on it. That's kind of the way I do it now and actually I caught my first fish doing the same thing. So just kind of twitch, twitch, pause almost or changing it up a little bit like that. Drag it a little bit. But I'm sure many techniques work with all kinds of baits so that's just work, what worked for me. It is definitely going to be pretty dang exciting if something hits this because more than likely it's going to be a pretty big fish. Or it'll be a gator. Hey, if any of you have any tips or tricks that you do with the Whopper Plopper, you know, leave it down in the comments. Definitely let me know, um, and I'll try them. I'm all about basically doing whatever I can do to uh, have the most success in fishing, so I'm willing to try a lot. So this is a very heavy bait. It's the 130 millimeter Whopper Plopper, but I'm throwing it on a, a seven foot heavy with 65 pound braid, and this rod can handle it no problem. Let me tell you what, if y'all haven't ever heard of or used or seen uh, Redbone, I would definitely check them out. Solid rod, everything is high, high quality. Uh, Fuji guides, Fuji seats, I mean definitely a high quality rod and very affordable. This rod right here, I think is like 100, 115 bucks probably. Solid rod though. I'm going to start using only Redbone rods here soon. That's how much confidence I have in them. Look at that big bird over there hanging out, trying to get here some breakfast. Get you some breakfast. Get you some. Ooh, that was a close one. Almost stuck that puppy right in the weed. A little bit of chop on the water, as you can see. Something like this, in my opinion, is perfect right now. But I guess we'll see. Did you get one? It's got teeth? I was wondering what the hell you're doing over here. Let me check this dude out. Here, turn him sideways. That's an ugly fish, dude. I know, I don't know what it is. Damn. He is nasty. What the hell was that? Somebody will know what it was. <laughs> Some creepy, weird looking fish. Those birds are hanging around, they ain't leaving. There's gotta be a reason. I'm gonna just come just to the other side so you can fish this. Man, looking like a jungle book around here. Look at these birds in these trees. Look at them ugly dudes. Chill out, you're good. All right, time to switch out. It's been fun, Mr. Whopper Plopper. But you are not the flavor of the day. Next up, the rattle trap.
Dang, that guy hit right at the boat. You see that? About to pull that rattle trap right out of the water, and this guy just smacks it right at the boat. That was pretty cool. Now, if you just chill out, little dude, and don't flip around, I may be able to get this out, no problem for you. Ooh, he is straight up blind in one eye. Look at that eyeball. That dude is blind in that eyeball. I'm trying to be as careful as I can with every fish that I catch. Definitely don't want to hurt him. I want them just to get bigger. There he is. I'm going to name this guy Old One-Eyed Willie. Old One-Eyed Willie right there. Have a good day, Willie. It has been super foggy all morning and getting everything wet. I don't have my waterproof housing on the GoPro, so hopefully it doesn't get it too wet. Let's see if I can pull a fish off this little point right here. I uh, got myself. Whew. That was a little scary, I gotta say. That could have caused damage. There's a lesson. Well, I'm gonna go to the other side. I had something hit it or hit the ground or weeds and I kind of ripped it through fast, but it was close and it shot out and hit me right in the crotch. And I'm not even gonna mess around here, I'm just gonna push through it. I seen a huge snake in there yesterday. Is that a gator right there? Yeah, a snake, he was about this long, in swimming in the water. Yeah, I ain't cool with that.